Um, I have another caller on the line. Can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Yeah. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling us from, if you may. My name is Wanzi Wisdom. I'm calling from France. From France. Please go ahead. The whole world is listening. Sir, please don't be offended, though. I won't be. You know this broadcast? Yes. This broadcast is getting out of hand. And these people are sending down their machinery to come over to attack us very soon. Yes. And every day you are talking story, which you have already been instructed by the gods on what to do. Yes. To declare war upon these people. Yes. And you are being stubborn, you don't want to declare war, you know that this is war that people are fighting. Yes. Can I answer your question? Can I answer you now? Can, can I respond to you? The I know. I understand the way you feel. I understand it completely and totally. I understand the way you feel. And I can assure you that that time is coming. Every time, everything has its own time. If you can see now, we are entering the final phase. Listen, listen to me carefully. I understand your frustration and I share it. I totally agree with you. I understand where you're coming from and I understand your anger. But please bear with me. We are going to get there. Let me tell you something. If we had declared Biafra, if we had declared Biafra late last year or early this year, all the Fulefus that are now, uh, should I say, repenting, they wouldn't have repented. They would have had the very perverse notion in their brain that what we are doing is not very good. But now they are beginning to see it. There is a little bit more time to go. One thing to your gate, just small. Then the floodgates of hell will open. Please, please, I do plead with you to give the, the, it's just a little bit more time to go and you will see what will happen. Please. Sir, yes. Sir, see, may, may I remind you that you used to see road not just as a human but as a spiritual and you understand the ways of the gods and the people and even the direction that mm. they, they give you. Yes. And you should deliver accordingly. I will. Not to, uh, not to the, the words of the gods are very sweet. And the gods are with us. They are fighting alongside with us. I, I, as I said, I understand you. I understand you. When I said, listen to me, listen to me, please. Listen very, very carefully to what I'm saying. I said, I understand your anger and your frustration. I understand that very well. But the, the final signal hasn't come to declare. And when I'm declaring Biafra, I will be on the ground myself. And I will do it. I will be in the land of Biafra. I will declare Biafra and will defend our brothers and our territories that same day. So don't worry, we are coming. I understand what you're saying. And heaven is talking and we are listening. Thank you very much for that. I don't want to go into too many details. The, another caller is on the line, I presume. Is that correct? This caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? No, you cannot hear me. I have, do I have somebody on the line, please? No, if you have called us before, please refrain from calling us again. I plead with you. I plead with you, please. I have, let me see if there's somebody on the line. They, no, 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 no. If you have called before, please don't call again. I don't know why they're doing this. Do not call again, please. I plead with you. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, uh, there, uh, there were DCs and uh, Pastor Chris Wise has been a long time. I just want to thank you. I want to commend you and I want to commend the God, the Almighty Creator that provided you for us. The Bible says that He comes to His own and they did not recognize Him. But I POB recognized you and we are saying that you will live to see Biafra. You see? Now, now what I want to say, and I don't think if I say it again, I want to say a happy birthday to Lolo. Thank you. And um, may God increase more years to her. So, uh, what I want to say right now is that um, in the book of Matthew, it says, or else, how can we deal with these governors if we don't first of all bind them, slaughter them, destroy that power that have been giving them energy. Because if you want to destroy a man, you lose the source of his income. When the source of his income is being destroyed or damaged, he will be financially handicapped. His life will be closed by force. These governors, they have that audacity to kill us. They have that impetus to come out to brag. Are they how many? I didn't want 
situation. These are the people that provoked David. That David stood up and says, enough is enough. How dare you, you uncircumcised, demon blood suckers, blaspheme against the God of Biafra. You kill us in war, you come out to brag about it. You kill us in Enugu, you come out to brag about it. You kill our Israeli highness and, uh, and our Lola. You come out to brag about it. These people, if you don't stood up, if you don't rise up, which I know you've said in your last statement right now, the time is coming. But these very people, let us not spare these people because they are the major problem. And another thing that I want to say is that, sir, if it's going to be possible, anywhere they gather to do meeting, whether or at least in their tool, or governor's meeting or other, let us follow them head on. Let us, as we did command last year, that there will be nothing like Igbo Union meeting or Horizon There's no Horizon meeting in our land. They, know, they don't meet. They, they, they go, go, you know, draft their rubbish over Nokia Touch phone and, and send to the media. They know they cannot meet. Okay. Anywhere our Horizon meets, we scatter it. The same thing, there's no campaign in Anambra State. Anywhere they're holding a campaign, they are, they are toast, they are gunners. There will be no campaign in Anambra, no open campaign. You can go to the door to door, give money. Any day you gather people with your vehicle and talking about this campaign, a lot more that same day. Ndara, thank you very much for your call. Thank you very much. We have come to the end of our program today. I don't want to give away too much, but I want to let their friends and the whole world understand this. I want to let every listening government understand that the man that killed my parents have come once again to boast that he's going to kill many more people. It is either him or me. I'm warning all of you in advance. Thank you very much for listening this morning. And as always, Biafra is much more than a movement for us. Biafra to me and to millions upon millions upon millions of all over the world, it is our religion. And here on radio, Biafra is where we worship. Because Chupo Kikabi Amapurumi Nenelo Himadona El Shaddai is our God. From me, from here this morning, with all the love in my heart, it is good morning.